Welcome to this free SolidWorks tutorial from iDesignCAD. In this tutorial, we will take a look at how to create equation-driven curves in a 3D sketch. Start by creating a new part. In the workbench, go to Sketch. Click the small arrow under Sketch to access the 3D Sketch option, and select 3D Sketch. In the Sketch toolbar, Click the small arrow next to spline to access the equation driven curve. The main difference between a normal 2D sketch and a 3D sketch is that an extra dimension is added. Notice the Z under parameters. In this example we will take a look at how to create a circle wave, like a wave washer. In X, type in. 100 times sinus to t. 100 is the radius of the circle. t1 and t2 is the start and end parameters. In y, type in 100 times cosine to t. And in z, type in 10 times sinus to 10 t. Ten is the height of the waves. The ten in the brackets is the number of waves between the start and end parameters. Under start and end parameters type in zero and pi, which is half a circle. The reason we don't create a complete circle to begin with is that SolidWorks will interpret the equations as interfering and an error will occur. To get around the error, we create two separate half circles, and put them together at the end using the command, fit spline. To create the other half, create a new equation driven curve. To create the opposite half circle, use the same equations as before, with a minus in front of x. To make the waves fit, put minus in front of the Z equation. Click the green OK to create the curve. Although the curves is in one 3D sketch, they are still two separate curves. To combine the curves, go to Tools, Spline Tools, and select Fit Spline. Select the two curves, and click OK. Exit the 3D sketch to complete the tutorial. Thank you for watching a free tutorial from iDesignCAD.com.